So, <sighs> it's been kind of a tricky year. And for one of our units, it's been a lot trickier than for everybody else because we work with a very small manufacturing unit in the Philippines and they got hit by a volcano before the pandemic even started in the middle of moving units and now they've just had a typhoon. Um, <laughs> so you can imagine that producing anything this year for them has been a bit of a nightmare. In the process of moving, they did find a pile of really, 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 uh, giant bloomer panty things that they made originally for uh, Fairy Godmother, who I suspect some of you will have heard of. Um, and so we agreed that in lieu of the things that they were supposed to be making for us this year and to kind of help out with stuff, um, we would take those off our hands. Uh, and Sam from Fairy Godmother very kindly agreed to let us do that and to use her photos. So we have the very last of the Marlene Ruffle bloomers from Fairy Godmother. They come in black or ivory. Uh, they come in sizes small to extra large, although I think most of the extra larges have sold out now. Can't remember. Um, I'm wearing an extra large, which is probably a little bit big on me. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of leg room. <laughs> um, but when I try the large, uh, I have a comfort thing about wanting things to be loose with this kind of thing. So it depends on what you want. Um, I have tried to put the leg measurements in because these are, although they're elasticated at the top, the satin is non-stretch, so there is a limit to how much you can put kind of in the hip and stuff. Um, they are not flat fronted, but close to flat fronted, so they're a kind of plain short bloomer with a ruffle and a little bit of lace and net underneath. You couldn't see this on the photo at all. Um, and then at the back, they've got that kind of massive ruffly effect which is this is the factory that makes the ruffle butts and I think you can tell um so yeah you can wear these underneath a corset with a pair of tights or with a pair of hold-ups or some stockings or something for a kind of burlesque look for a night out or you can wear them under an outfit if you're wearing like a big 50 style frock then a pair of knickers like this works really well underneath those particularly in the unlikely event that you're allowed out to go dancing which is not a thing we can do right now, but I hope somewhere someone can. Um, or you could just wear them because you like carrying your own cushion with you. <laughs> That's what I found with the ruffle butts. They're excellent for that. They're really great for taking your own padding with you out. Um, yeah, if you've got any other questions about them, let us know. We have only got a few pairs left um, and hopefully you'll enjoy them. <laughs>